interval by interval inter-observer agreement. All right, again, I'm going to say this every time. It is not inter-rater reliability. It's inter-observer agreement because it speaks to validity. Uh, really, it speaks to believability, not validity. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was very valid. <laughs> um, so you're probably not good. Yeah, <laughs> wee bit, and now you're not going to believe me at all. Um, so no, interval, interval by interval IOA, right? Uh, really simple. This is used when you do like a partial recording method or a whole interval recording method. Um, all you do is compare the intervals to each other. So you've got two people making re making recordings about the same interval time, right? So did the behavior happen at all during the first two minutes? Yes. No. Oop, they don't agree. How about this one? Did it happen at all? Yes. Yes. Did it happen at all? Yes. Yes. Now we have three intervals that you just saw, picking nose or screaming or getting out of turn. Well, not picking nose. That's discreet. So continuous type behaviors, right? So they're talking out of turn, whatever. Did the behavior happen at all during that time period? We're using a partial interval method, right? Um, so then we go we compare checkboxes. If they agreed, and so in this case we had three intervals, so did they, they agreed two out of three times, so 66% roughly, um, of the 66% agreement, because we take the total number of agreement inter agreeing intervals, divide it by the total number of intervals overall, right? Uh, so it's a pretty good method. It's not quite as good as exact um, agreement, but uh, it's, it's not bad at all, and pretty strict for, uh, in fact, the strictest one you could have for continuous type behaviors.